Roger Golubsky was enabled by a system. And so we're going to talk about that system because that system is still intact. Roger Golubsky did not exist in a vacuum. He was part of the system, a system that was supposed to protect citizens from abuse, but did not. His colleagues knew what he was doing, but they did nothing. His supervisors knew what he was doing, but they did nothing. Sworn officers and supervisors saw his exploitation of the vulnerable and turned a blind eye. They protected Golubsky, not the community, not those they were sworn to serve. 